on behalf of Bob and myself, welcome back everybody. I'm OG and today I am the creator of this replica plane. I'm getting quite fond of building the replicas. And the one that came into my mind was this. The de Havilland Vampire. The Vampire is a very old aircraft. Let's get it running here. See if we can take off while I talk. It was only the second fighter built in the UK after the Gloucester Meteor. So development of this thing started in the early 40s. And they were put into production just before the end of World War II. There are a couple of different models. This one isn't anyone specifically. As always, I'm limited by the parts available in KSP2. And that is not supposed to happen. Okay, okay. Stop that now. Stop it. Stop it. Alright. We are still clearly playing KSP2. You can see this is not scripted. <laughs> As I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted. The Vampire is a World War II era jet aircraft. One of the pioneers. It was developed into the Sea Vampire and used on carriers. Let's see if we can get into the air without dying. Okay, not quite yet. Unfortunately, the engine fitted onto here is only just strong enough. Just, just. And it flies with great difficulty, but it does fly. That's all I really need. I can't put anything bigger on because anything bigger won't fit. And then it will just look weird. So, please excuse the rather poor in-flight performance of this plane. But the idea with these replicas is not to build something that flies brilliantly, it's just something that looks like a proper plane. And she does look good. Well, as good as I can make her with the current parts. I love these aircraft. I was fortunate as a child to be able to see them in action in air shows on several occasions. They make the most delightful sound, not quite like this little howling, whistling noise that this engine makes. It's a much more throaty, rumbly type sound. And uh, I very much miss seeing them in the air. Unfortunately, they don't fly around here anymore. I'm in South Africa. I think there are a few that are still airworthy in other places places in the world which do the occasional show or take people for trips and if you ever get the opportunity to see one go have a look they really are fantastic old aircraft when I was at the military academy I would see one every day there was one sitting up front and center at our parade ground so every morning First thing I would see a vampire. Sadly, it is no longer there. It's been replaced by another old South African Air Force aircraft, the Impala. You can probably see that my speed is not very high and if I start any sort of bold maneuvers, this plane very quickly starts falling out of the air. So I'm afraid I won't do anything too exciting. What I think I'll do now is just perhaps try and land her. I can try for a landing. Don't know if I'll succeed. I haven't managed to land one yet. <laughs> As is so often the case with my creations in KSP2. Perhaps I'll have a little more luck this time. Okay, runway. Stand by. To receive vampire. 
Incidentally, the color I chose for this, um, the naked metal look, is not just because I like the naked metal look. It's because the vampires were generally silver. So this time, it's not my doing that the color is this. For once. All the other silver things, that's on me. Okay, you do get the odd silver rocket. Okay, vampire. We're going to do this. Oh, that airspeed is low. Turn gently. I really, really hope that KSP2 implements joystick controls. Because just tapping this button a little bit... I mean, look at this elevator. This is a bit ridiculous. It's dancing around like... Well, let's not say something nasty. It's dancing around like something that it's feverishly dancing around. Wheels out. But yeah, joystick support would go a long way towards making this game much more playable. KSP1 as well. I've always struggled with the buttons. The buttons are really not set up well, especially because A and D don't do roll, and the Q and E do that, which is really not ideal. Okay, let's just fall slowly out of the air. Come on. Come on. Can't do much of a landing flare because the tail will strike. This looks fine. Touchdown. Okay, Bob, don't slide it. Gently apply some brakes. A little bit of braking. A little bit more braking. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Successful landing. See, I can do it. I can. Come, tip your plane forward. The center of gravity is over there. You should not be tipping backwards. I put those wheels in that place specifically so you didn't tip backwards. Anyway. That's my vampire. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what other aircraft you'd like to see me try to make replicas of. And I will see what I can do. Until then, thank you for joining me. From myself and Bob. OG out.